so much of the machines is finally out and we're back playing some magic arena okay so this is the deck i'm gonna start off with the last episode of magic arena i tried to see if i can put eight cards into the opponent's graveyard using field of ruin demolition field and liliana of the veil it is possible but anyway, okay, uh, why do you want to get 8 cards in the graveyard? Because of the new Shodred. So when it enters the battlefield, they can sacrifice a non-token creature or planeswalker. It's for 5 mana, so it's slightly... Like a slightly worse Chupacabra. You know the Ravenous Chupacabra, right? Instead of, you pay 1 mana extra, and then you give it like a better body, a 4-5 body instead of a 2-2 body. But you don't really get to choose what dies. But you can kill Planeswalkers, like, potentially. The next ability is Exile Children, then return it to the battlefield, transform under its owner's control, activate only as a sorcery, and only if an opponent has 8 or more cards in their graveyard. Like, how the fuck do you get 8 or more cards in the graveyard? It's uh, it's hard, it's hard. Because, let's say against Bono White, half of the things you can kill, like let's say things they bring back with Sarah Paragon or their creature tokens, they don't go to the graveyard, they straight up like just go away. And then the other things like enchantments, you can't really kill them. So yeah, it is a challenge to put 8 cards into the graveyard. Of course, there is... A few ways to put 8 cards in the graveyard. One of them is... I've got to filter the cards here. So Invasion of Amon Cat lets players mill 3 cards. Then they discard a card. There's 4 cards. And then you draw a card. Unfortunately, this is blue and black. We are playing mono black. So we can't put Invasion Armor Cat inside. Okay, now I might try Grixis or Blue Black with Invasion Armor Cat. Actually, this card is pretty good. And then you can, then if you smack it, then you can turn it into a uh, four four zombie. If only they had like Hazoret and the Sc Hazoret and the Scarab God. Then Grixis mid range will like go to the moon for this like few months before the things start rotating in third quarter of two zero two three. The other way put cards into the graveyard. This one confirm can put can you can confirm put like eight or more cards in the graveyard. It's called Reach the Multiverse. Each player mills 10 cards. For each player, choose a creature or planeswalker, put those cards into the graveyard. I mean from graveyard to the battlefield under your control. And then every creature you control becomes a Phyrexian. So it's pretty good. What's not good, right? You see the cost? You see the cost? 5 black black is 7 fucking mana. Where the fuck do you get 7 fucking mana? Against like mono rate, you don't even have time to cast this. You just die before turn 7. But actually, there is a way to cast this on turn 4. We might visit this in future. It involves our good friend... Ash not. Uh, that means I need to spend more wild cards in order to get this deck together. So we we get Ash not on turn one. And then we get either the Raven Man or Jada on turn two. This is assuming like the opponent doesn't know what's up and then they don't kill Ash not, they don't kill Jada. So we got two of these creatures. Like on turn 1 you play Ash not, turn 2 you play Jada or Raven Man. Then turn 3 you play Relic of Legends. So it turns into a Springleaf Drum for Springleaf Drum for like legendary creatures. So turn 3 you play this. Then you got Jada and Ash not on tap. Or Jada and Raven and Ash not and Raven Man on tap. They can still got enough to cast off uh, another 2 mana spell, like let's say go for the throw, maybe cast down another legend. 
just for insurance lah. So if they remove all your legends, you still got one more. So turn four, right? You put down your turn four. You put down your fourth land. This also assumes that you meet all your land drops, which is hard lah. Sometimes the shuffler don't not nice to you, then they don't give you a fourth land drop. So turn four, right? You put down a fourth land drop. So you got four mana available. This one has five mana. Six seven. You tap your two legends. You got seven mana. You cast breach the multiverse. They're just nice. Maybe you got shoulder. Then you bring back. Ah, uh, then you turn five. You get to go off with the nonsense like that. But that's a god draw lah. And god draws can only be put off regularly by gods. Ha ha ha. Okay. So anyway, enough of the bullshit about other decks. We'll explore this in future lah. So this is the same deck I played. In the last episode of Magic Arena, uh, we got cut down, kill stuff, go to the graveyard, evolve sleeper, draw cards, maybe potentially draw cards lah. But you, the thing is a death touch, so you got death touch that you can kill stuff, then they go to the graveyard. Also, Razor Lash. If people play like Esper Shadow Legends, I mean Rage Shadow Legends. Now I mean Esper Legends or any like Grixis mid range, so it's easy to bring back the cards. I mean, easy to bring back Razor Lash Transmogre, it becomes a 2 mana return from the graveyard. Then go for the throat. Ah, okay, now, now there's the Incubate tokens. Uh. Incubate will make like the. Uh, incubate will make like artifact creature tokens with X power, X toughness based on the value of the Incubate. Uh. So go for the throat might be a bit nerfed. Might want to switch it out for one more Infernal Grasp, but losing life is not fun. I'm just gonna stick at I'm just gonna stick at three go for the throat, two in further grass. We got other removal spells to make up for it, lah. So Reckoner Bank Buster, draw cards. Then potentially you can crew it. Graveyard Trespasser might get in the way of children, but all you gotta do is to just exhaust stuff for your graveyard. Liliana this card. So that's how you get more cards in the opponent's graveyard. If you Another way to get 8 cards in the graveyard, right? You play a mono black discard deck. So any excess discard you draw can be just discarded to Liliana. Then this is more removal, more discard. And then if you lucky you get the you get the minus 6 Liliana, then that's fun. Shoulder because shoulder lah. You just like leave it on the board, they cannot remove it. They just like get drained to death. Also got death touch, so if you block anything big, it goes to the graveyard. So Gig's command. And just this one sweeper, hopefully we draw into it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna switch out Gig's Command for another shoulder because Gig's Command there's definitely gonna be go white decks. We're gonna fight in game one. We're gonna fight go white decks, I mean, so like game one we need a potential out to deal with these sort of like go white decks. Shoulder because shoulder lah. And in order to squeeze in the second shoulder, I remove and invoke the spare. Unfortunate, but yeah, like, I gotta lower the curve. You gotta keep the curve like normal. If you put one more five drop inside, the curve might be slightly off. So land base. Got 16 swarms. You're not gonna do any like thing with path of peril. You're not gonna, not gonna do any shenanigans with path of peril and white mana. There is a new Ah, okay. I might want to put that in. There is a new, like, legend, I mean, battle card. Lah. Maybe I'll just put it in later. So, Swamp 16, Takenuma, in case we want to get anything from the graveyard, like a Liliana or Shodra. Demolition Field and Field of Ruin to put opponents' land into the graveyard so it can contribute to the 8 count for Shodra. Okay, so Sideboard Duress. Do we treat the rest? Mm. Maybe I'll put more inside. What can I remove? Anyway, uh, three the rest. Three parasitic grasp. Actually, for humans, yeah, there are more humans now. I think to use the parasitic grasp on. But let's say monastery mentor is a human, but it has prowess lah. So. That's gonna be a problem. Razor Lash, if you want add the aggro against control, dreams of steel and oil. This is not gonna contribute to the this is actually gonna nerf shoulder by a bit. So I will see what I'll do with this later. Unlicensed for additional graveyard hate. 
malicious sweeper, more sweeper. Hmm. You know what? Actually, I might want to get rid of the path of peril. No, 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 no. I might want to get rid of the malicious. Might I might want to remove one malicious malfunction? Wait, they thought then gives command for the sweeper. Sorin for card advantage. This could be a Raska, but I'll just decide later. Okay. Anyway, the one I was talking about is Invasion of Yora. So this is confirm a damnation. You can either damnation the legendary creature, non-legendary creature, or both. If you want to whack this stack a turn into uh damnation for planes, not damnation for planeswalker. Get to kill planeswalker every time this attacks, and if you don't remove it. So whenever Marchesa Resolute Monarch attacks, remove all counters from up to one target per weapon. Then you get to draw cards as well. You know what? Okay, I'm gonna waste my wild cards on two of these. But this is six mana though. That's a bit expensive. You know, okay, I'm gonna remove Path of Peril. Gotta put in one invasion of Fiora. I'm gonna remove one. I think it's wrong to remove another three drops sweeper. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna remove Parasitic Grasp and put in the Invasion of Fiora. This will unbalance the deck by quite a bit. Lah. Which is unfortunate. Okay, I think I have gone on about this deck long enough. Let's get into a few matches. Now... Okay. First of all, gotta check if OBS is running. Otherwise, I just talk about that for like nothing. Okay, OBS is running. Let's get into some trouble. So... Yeah, traditional standard ranked. Best of three. Of course, Mono Black has his weaknesses. Like you don't have blue cards, you don't have red cards to deal with the stuff. It is better to play Grixis mid range or Esper. But well, Mono Black is not a not just a deck. Mono Black is a lifestyle. <laughs> Come on, I mean, I just said, like, Mono Black is not a deck, Mono Black is a lifestyle, you don't give me any swamps. <laughs> okay, oh, never mind, just mulligan here. This hand looks serviceable. Gonna bottom the Gig's command and hope I don't get into trouble. <coughs> they haven't played anything yet, so let's just... Okay, so I will go with uh, Razorlash Transmogran to be aggressive. Thing is, I don't have my third land drop here. So I'm gonna play the Reckoner Bankbuster to give myself a chance to find the third land drop. Blood Tits Harvester. Okay, so no third land drop. What I need to do here is gonna draw. There is the third land drop, but unfortunately it isn't a swamp, so we cannot cast down the we cannot cut down the blood pits harvester. Fable of the mirror breaker. Hmm. Well, this is bad. I need like two sets of removal to Like, do I want to do it? Do I want to, like, two sets or remove all them? Okay, I'm gonna regret this. We don't want him to... We don't want him to like just ramp our control, so we just 
get rid of the goblin token although this is stronger and this is potential removal but he has to remove this in order to remove things so how many cards in the graveyard? two cards in the graveyard with this grabbing three if he doesn't play a creature here never mind Wow, uh, this is bad. This is real bad. You can't play the children, unfortunately. Mm. I mean, I, I mean, I could do like double removal, but that might be wasting removal against one of the things he might have in hand so we gotta sacrifice we gotta make him sacrifice something here <laughs> Off you go. no attacks and Anton so I'm guessing he has a go for the throat in hand otherwise he will remove something we gotta use the cut down on reflection Otherwise, he will get out of control. So is this Grixis mid-range or is this Rakdos with the Xander's Lounge to smooth out the mana? That is the question. Too bad we don't have a fourth land drop, otherwise he will need to... Oh. Yeah, this is how you get cards in the graveyard. Lah. Let them use the Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Now we wait. Eh, wait, 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 wait. So the thing is, if he has a haste creature, we can block it. If he can destroy... Ah, okay. That's what he wants to do. At least he just draws one card out of it. Now here we got a... Mm. Oh, he has a basic land. Oh, this is bad. Got to kill the children. And finally, we get a land drop. But unfortunately, this means that his Kiki Jiki is going to go out of control. He top deck that upgrade. I know it. Is there anything we can do here to like get stuff out of his graveyard? I mean he has 10 cards in his graveyard. I could put on shoulder la but He's probably gonna remove it. So I'm gonna put down the graveyard trespasser, make it hard for him to make it hard for him to get stuff out of the graveyard. I mean make him hard make it hard for him to remove things from the graveyard. To remove uh to remove the fuck 
To remove the graveyard trespasser, yes. What am I talking about? Shit. I mean, one of the cards in his hand is there. I told you, there's a go for the throat. So then often we bring back the Razor Lash Transmogren. Blood Tits Harvester. Oh, that's for seven. We are in trouble. Maybe I should play Shouldred first. Oh wait, but I still lose because... Yeah, I still lose because I don't have... Uh... Okay, so against Red Black, what do I want? I say we just go down by the all the razor dash transmogrants. Maybe I put in another minus two minus two until end of turn. Hmm. Well, this card work against him. Yeah, I think can it can it can snag his it can snag his fables. Malicious malfunction. Yeah, that that could be good. That could be good. So we maybe remove uh go down by one bank buster. And then we put in one malicious malfunction. And then we maybe go down by one evolve sleeper, then put in the other malicious malfunction. Legendary, non-legendary. Is there a need for this though? I don't think so. But I might be mistaken. Yeah, considering we didn't hit our lands in time. We did well, I hope. We... Oh, I'm gonna keep this, I'm gonna keep this. If I lose, this is on me. Be just because of the fucking duress. But don't, don't learn from me. I need to draw lands here, otherwise I'm in trouble. Oh, he's Grixis. So I can put in the unlicensed hearse. <coughs> Your graveyard trespasser is getting in the way of children. If he puts a creature in here, 
Okay, okay lah. I mean, I mean, no hurry to. I oh, yes, a children. Like, I mean, no hurry to get anything out of his hand. No shit. What am I saying? I'm not saying. I'm. I'm not in any hurry to get like eight cards in his graveyard. You won't be outsmarting me. I'm gonna regret this, but I'll throw the duress. And we put down the graveyard trespasser. But nothing to. If he puts more cards in the graveyard, then. We block this white because we can make him sacrifice his next play. If he plays shoulder here, we just make him sacrifice it. So here we gonna drop it. Ah. <laughs> he given up on casting children. Maybe it's an invoke despair? Yeah, it is an invoke despair. That's unfortunate. Let's hope the swamp is your only basic land. Oh, he has more swamps. Good for him. Maybe there are better ways to get stuff in the graveyard. Okay, I will do the... Who the fuck is doing... Okay, I'm... I'm not sure if you guys will hear this, but somebody is doing drilling upstairs at this hour. So this is a bit of a waste, but... Not as wasteful as using Invoke Despair at that point of time. But okay, uh, maybe the, the three card draw would be better, the six card, the slick life swing would be better. I don't know. Uh. If he had removal, he had removed it already. Uh. He is looking for removal. He doesn't have removal. Okay, so what we do here is we're gonna swing. And then we... Oh, you got 8 cards in your graveyard. We're not gonna let you draw removal. Imagine you top decks some removal here. I don't think Grixis can deal with enchantment that well. Come, discard, discard all the cards you draw your invoke with spare. Put it in the graveyard where it belongs. <laughs> okay, now we... Do we want to do the invoke now or not? No, I think no, we don't do it. We just... Put on the Liliana, we make him sacrifice something. And then we...
Oh. Wait, what? He wants to... Ah, he wanted to copy it. Well, I'm gonna waste your... I'm gonna like waste your bank buster then. Sorry, because the, the drilling is like... Uh. Can he remove this? I don't think he can. Not while it's an enchantment. Luckily, it's all creature cards, not all planeswalker. Luckily for him, I mean. At least I get a shoulder out of it. He doesn't want to get to this. He doesn't want to get to the next step. Anyway. Uh... Yeah, just let's just leave it as it is, lah. Then we just we just stop. <coughs> oh shit! I forgot to put in the ah, I forgot to put in the what you call it the unlicensed hers. Yes. I mean, I'd like him to get eight cards in the graveyard, but to get the, the advantage out of the corpse appraiser, that's not so good. Okay, so we've got two shoulders here. Then we can remove something. He's gonna remove all the shoulders so yeah. So our turn one, turn two, turn three play is more or less secure. Burn down the house. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna like do anything about that. Although that might be a bad choice. We save the go for the throat for the children. You should be getting cards out of your graveyard after what you have seen. What's one way to get rid of a graveyard trespasser without, without like? Oh, fuck! Fuck! Whoever's upstairs, fuck you! Any way to get past the wall? We just sacrifice. Let's make you use the uh, burn down the house. Yes, yes, throw all of it away. Come, burn, burn. The only thing that's gonna burn is your mother. Ah, okay, just kidding. Wow, okay. That was quick. So you're playing more mono black manhole. That's what the drilling stops. Oh, 
Come on. Cause you want to play first, don't wait so don't like spend too long thinking about it. Do you want to start or do you not want to start? Okay, uh, this hand is reasonable. We've got removal, we've got creature, we've got turn 2 play, we've got turn 3 play, and the uh, enablers, and we've got the lens to enable it. Shattered Sanctum. So this means you're gonna play White Black Phyrexian or Rage Shadow Legends. Aha, it's Rage Shadow Legends. We are gonna. Play the bank buster. Swing if he plays a what you call it a thing on turn three. If he plays the what's the name? The Esper that spins like that one the three mana. We can cut it down. We can just like destroy his plaza or heroes. Ah, Rafin, yes! Okay, so what we're gonna do here, right, is we're gonna make him a very sad person. I hope you play basic lens. Do you play basic lens? Oh, you don't play basic lands. Oh fuck, it got what? Ah, shit. Well, uh... <coughs> Actually, I did it wrongly. If you place a two drop here, I could cut it down. Con knife, con knife, come find your land. Artifact or creature card, come choose, choose. So I heard you don't have any basic lands in your deck. I played Liliana, but oh well. Nice, right? You wanna see something more nice, right? What do I do? Negate, make disappear, spell pierce. Oh, so how are you gonna spell pierce the Liliana? With what? You're gonna spell pierce in blue? <laughs> Where's your fucking blue? Sorry, a bit like overreacting. Just now the drilling was like really. really fucked up. Come, counter this. <coughs> so as per Shadow Legends, we want to... Maybe do something like... Uh down one and down one put two dreams of steel and oil 
no point putting in duress lah because duress is for like creatures. So do I want sweepers against Asper Shadow Legends? Probably not lah, we just run it like this first. If anything happens, I might want to switch off those sweepers. Now that I think about it right, this deck doesn't have that much targeted planeswalker hate. We don't have to destroy target planeswalker. Yeah, we do it like this, then we keep this. Although this might be a bit slow, never mind you see your hand. Anointed Peacekeeper. He doesn't have a land? Don't mind if I do then. I mean you could play a uh, anointed peacekeeper naming Field or Ruin, but I'll just like Liliana it away. Good luck playing your anointed peacekeeper. I'm not even gonna play like. <laughs> yeah, fuck you! Okay, okay, sorry, that was a bit like. No, I should have. I should have, like. Uh, yeah, I should have done that, like. He got unlucky on the land drops and he ate the. Demolition field, so yeah. Well, he tried, he tried, but. At least he didn't fight Mono White. Mono White can bring back the Field of Ruins. So yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode. We... I really don't want to like... I really don't want to like do it again. The drilling is starting again. Fucking drilling is starting again. Don't wanna do it. Don't wanna like... Uh... Ah, fuck, never mind. Anyway, thanks for watching and bye-bye. I think it's running nuts.